Hey everyone, I am Srini, um, C Sharp developer, and uh, this is the uh, first video of the SQLite playlist. Um, yeah, in this video, I am going to uh, explain what is SQLite is. If you are a developer, you might be here about uh, SQLite, but um, you could not get the uh, proper solution right. So I am here to explain uh, uh, what is SQLite is. So SQLite is a simple lightweight relational database. So this is a uh, this is a database and it's not like a SQL Server, MySQL, and PostgreSQL because they are uh, they are uh, like an application. So if you want to install uh, my SQL Server, so we need to install the particular uh, server right in SQL Server. In SQLite, in this case, uh, SQL, we, we will not install any uh, additional uh, uh, installation files for SQLite. So all the uh, uh, all the development uh, application development languages and, uh, has some frameworks and libraries to generate SQLite uh, inside the application. So the developer will know how uh, how to implement the SQLite database into their applications. So so now uh yeah sqlite database so uh, as i said sqlite database is very light right but it doesn't mean that it can consume only a few data it can store up to more than one terabyte so that's not a uh, problem and um, yeah uh, let's take an example so if a developer wants to develop uh, if the client uh, wants to um, want uh, want an application and uh, he, he approaches one developer and um, and the client uh, and and the client is uh, uh, he is very particular that he don't want to share uh, uh, the da uh, data uh, to the another uh, computer, right? So he he wants the application for under uh, more than hundred pieces, and uh, uh, and he don't want to share any data to the any computer among these uh, uh, hundred pieces, right? So the developer has one choice for that. That is SQLite because SQLite uh, will uh, be uh, the users uh, if the user enter the data and user retrieve some data uh, from the application client uh, in the client side client of the application uh, client application so he will uh, insert and fetch from the SQLite database directly so that's a so that's a good solution and. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean that SQL Server MySQL is not come uh, um, a yeah, good solution, but every uh, situation has a different solutions, right? So for this scenario, for this case, the de the developer has a choice that is SQLite, yeah, and SQLite uh, is a uh, people will call it as a pre-built database, uh, built-in database, uh, embedded database. Because embedded database means because uh, in uh, widely uh, the IoT developers uh, use SQLite databases for their uh, devices to save some data, um, yeah, to uh, live data and um, like uh, uh, Android iOS applications. Widely, uh, Android developers, Android and iOS developers are uh, using uh, SQLite uh, for the uh, for the database purpose. SQLite databases for the database uh, purpose, and um, uh, yeah, uh, not only Android iOS, so we can also uh, use this um, database for Windows applications and um, many other lightweight applications. Uh, it's depend, it's depend on your need actually, the developer needs. So okay, and yeah, uh, I hope you can understand what is SQLite is. Uh, um, in future video, I will uh, I will show you how to add a SQLite Manager extension to Chrome. Uh, SQLite Manager ex extension tool is nothing but it's a, it's an editor for the SQLite database. Uh, how we have uh, a Microsoft SQL uh, Management Studio for SQL Server. The same way we have a SQLite Manager uh, extension for uh, SQLite database. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hope you can understand the next video. Uh, from the next video i will show you how to um, create a database using this tool create a database and uh, and access the data uh, from the existing uh, database sql database file and we can import and export the database files from these devices yeah thank you guys thank you friends